Good morning and uh, greetings uh, from Cambridge. Um, it's nice to be able to have the opportunity to uh, speak to you, send you this message this Sunday morning. I know it's uh, going to be several months still until I actually come across to Northfield, until I pack my bags and leave here. Uh, but I just wanted to let you all know that you are in my thoughts and my prayers at this difficult time. I hope you're all keeping well, and I hope that if any of you are actually having to deal with the virus personally, that you're getting all the help that you need at this time. Uh, these are strange times, uh, for sure. I'm sure you're finding it as difficult as we are coming to terms with the idea of having no, uh, no meetings and especially no Sunday service, but I do hope that you're finding new ways to be church. We're certainly investigating all sorts of different ideas and different things that we can do to encourage people to stay in fellowship and to remember that church is the people, not the building. Uh, we, we're trying something, for example, we're doing a song for the day activity. We're inviting people to share with us their favorite worship song and to uh, tell us why. Why is it their favorite song? We're going to be posting that onto our website and uh, onto the uh, Facebook page, uh, just as an encouragement for people. Um, hopefully it will get people listening to more worship songs at home. I hope that um, in the extra time that I'm sure you're finding yourself with, that maybe you're, you're going to take the opportunity to get some more Bible reading done, get into the Bible, do some study. Uh, there's no uh, surprise or, or mystery as to why the Bible is known as the living word. Um, it's because it it's uh, speaks truth to our lives. It uh, speaks a transforming truth. Uh, even today, especially today in, in the difficulties that we're facing, uh, it's a, a place that we can go to always knowing that God will speak to us uh, from his word. And it's important that we have a truth to speak into the world today. If we look at the television, if we read our newspapers, it seems like all they've got to give us is bad news. And it's really important that we, as God's people, are ready and able to offer good news to the world. You know, we're, we're called to be distinctive I like my words that begin with D. Uh, you're you're going to hear a lot of them from me, deliberate and discipleship. Uh, but distinctive is another one. We're called to be different. We're called to stand out. Uh, we're called to be people that others recognize something different in us. Um, and that difference needs to be Jesus. We need to be able to demonstrate to people what it is that gives us hope in these difficult times, why we can still praise God. So I want to encourage you uh, to be distinctive, be people of the good news, uh, be people of the living word. I'd like to uh, share a, a verse with you uh, right now, just as a, an encouragement. It's a verse that means a lot to me. It's a verse that has spoken to me in some difficult times and in some good times too. Um, and then I'd like to share a prayer with you as well. The verse is from Romans uh, chapter 15, verse 13, and it says this, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father God, you are sovereign, and we acknowledge that you are mighty above all things in heaven and on earth. And we put our trust wholly and solely in you, our God. And we will proclaim your name with our hearts and with our voices. So may we be witnesses to your goodness, your love, your grace and your mercy through our lives. May we be your hands, your feet, your voice and your heart to those around us who are in need at this time. And may we shine the light of Jesus into the darkness. Amen. 
Well, I hope you have a blessed day, however you're going to be spending that today. Uh, I hope you have a good company, that you find time, as I say, to be in God's Word. And uh, maybe if you've got uh, your own ideas, your own activities that you're coming up with, your own uh, new things that you're trying, you, you would like to share those with me. I'd be really interested to hear what you're doing to make sure that you're still church, you're still God's people. God bless.